I'm going to answer how do I insert emojis into Google Sheets. But first, before I answer how, I'm going to answer why. And we'll come back to this because I'm going to do this super quick. It's going to be really fast, but I'm going to come back to these. Well, you're going to get better bullets for your lists. You're going to be able to highlight instructions whenever you're telling a user how to use your sheet. Uh, you should be able to add a little instructions of writing or some uh, showing is always better than writing. So you can use emojis to show something like a hand movement or, or have one, two, three. Because it's super hard uh, when you are adding, I'll come back to this, but like if you want to do one dot, it's really hard to do that. You have to do something like this. You have to do equals, well, equals one in, uh, do equals one dot and you get that dot but if you don't want to do that and, if you, and you do want to list have things in the list you can just use an emoji as a one which is really cool you can move the user's eyes you can actually have arrows you can have movement you can show movement you can have movement for the user you can also create a drop down selection box which i'll show you again later in this video uh, instead of using just uh, text because uh, sometimes our uh, sheets get really text heavy, but a user could select something like ratings. I have a whole other video about ratings and I think it's really cool and really fun to add star ratings and then be able to um, move those stars into like numbers so that you can do some calculations. Um, and I have a whole other video and that, that video is going to be in the description below. But uh, let me show you how, to, how do you insert emojis and then I'm going to come back to this and show you all of these things. So on a Mac, it's super simple. Uh, you're going to want to double click into a cell uh, and hit the control. You're going to have a, a keyboard control. Then you're going to use plus command plus spacebar. This sounds like a lot, but once you get used to it, like I have, I use it all the time. Control, command, plus the spacebar, and bam, you get a wonderful little uh, character map. Uh, in Google Docs, it's a little different. You, you insert a character and you use the good character map. But I really like this. Um, the, uh, I don't even know what it's called. But I really like it because it has search. You can search for like a stop sign or a no. You can even search by color. So if you want to make sure your entire sheet has the right same color through all your emojis, there you go. You can use a policeman, a, a dot. You can use these as bullets. I'll show you that later. A blue heart instead of a red heart. Um, there's is there pink. Yep, there's pink. There's yellow. There's green. All sorts of different types of stuff. Um, you can fruit. Um, and as you can see here, and it saves your frequently used ones. And I, I use this a lot because I use some some all the time. If you want to talk about Twitter, you go here. Twitter. There you go. Um, control plus command plus space. I want to show you one other way you can do this without the keyboard in case, um, or if you have a Windows uh, or you don't know the uh, keyboard shortcut, you can again double click into the cell and then go up to edit and here's emojis and symbols it's at the bottom and it's the exact same character map. Um, this is really cool because just in case you can't use the keyboard or you forget that it's the shortcut, there is the shortcut right there. I want to reiterate that you're going to be sorely upset if you were not double clicking into the cell. If you choose not to double click in the cell and you have just the uh, one cell selected, it won't work. See right now I'm not selected in the cell. Uh, I click over to edit and there's nothing there. Oh no, that's up here. I have to double click if I'm there shows up. Nope, doesn't show up. If I use the control, command, spacebar, it doesn't show up. So again, I have to double click as if, and, and as if I'm typing, and in the middle of a sentence, I can add an emoji. There you go. So a uh, really cool way to insert emojis into Google Sheets. And let me go back to now why. There's some really cool use cases. So. Better bullet. So right now, if you are using Google Sheets to make lists, you might not even be using bullets. Or you might find uh, option, I think it still works here, option eight. That is a funky little bullet point for your sheets. 
for your list. It's just option eight. But that bullet point is going to get really, really, really uh, boring really, really quickly if you're using this for bullets. Sometimes our bullets need to have some spiciness, some, some kind of hotness, right? So we can use hearts, we can use numbers. I really like numbering these, so if I want to say insert, oh, no, the other way, not delete row, insert row here, and I want to have um, show instructions. I have sort of a, a list in the right order, right? An ordered list. I could change this one, two, or two. And there you go, one, two, or one, two, three. You can have a third instruction here. And again, just double click here, you can delete that, and just type in three. A nice funky little keypad three one two three now people know that this is in order one two three there are as you could tell if you type in the number one a few other options um the this funky one uh not funky this is like a normal like one period you can use there as an emoji which is really cool i really like this one you can move a user's eye so instead of Instead of assuming that a user is just going to move down, like go from top to bottom, uh, you can insert another row here. Uh, let's do this as well, insert a row here. And in between these rows, we can add an emoji. We can go down, right? Use the down point. We can also go back up. And we can move really really highlight that right we can we can center these as well to make them flow a little bit better there you go or we can say hey go over to the right once you're done with this one go to the right and there's a little hand pointing there there's also a number of arrows uh that i find are really good uh you have double arrows you have these arrows that are pointing different ways uh, but you also have these very subtle sort of curves there and I think that's really fun. If you're going from sort of a something here and you want to say go here, you can use that arrow. That's a really fun arrow. And now we're into like my second favorite way to use uh, emojis, which is in drop down menus. And in drop down menus, uh, we typically, I will show you, we can do let's just delete that. And let's remove that data validation. Well, here, go to data validation. Let's remove it. And I'll show you how to add a, a drop down, right? If you haven't ever had a user select a drop down, these are really cool. You just right click on the cell you want to have the different options. Go data validation. And you just change it from, I'm going to change it to a list of items. You can have yes or no um, or meh and save that. And that's a drop down that someone can double click and they can select one of these. They can also type, start typing. Uh, you can also just click the space bar and there you go, no. User can select this for maybe quizzes, uh, voting, uh, sometimes you want a wide variety of options or you want just a binary kind of um, uh, yes and no. Or you want this map. But sometimes our sheets get really text heavy, especially if we have lots of columns uh, lots of options for the user, for users, if you're voting on different things. So we might want to change these dropdowns to emojis, and we can do that. We can go to data validation. Instead of yes, no, and meh, we can have like a thumbs, thumbs up. And again, control, command, space, thumb down. And then uh, I think it is literally meh. One of these uh, you can choose. Uh, like, I don't really like it, I don't really hate it, meh, and save that. And now we can select this and it shows our thumbs up or thumbs down or meh. That's a really fun thing. And with that, we can also use different ratings. So ratings 
Typically, you're going to see in a Google Sheet like 1, 2, 3, or 4, or 1 to 10, and you have to type in a number. Boring. This is really, really fun. And I have an entire video about this in the description. Uh, um, a user of Better Sheets asked about this. Can we add ratings, these five-star ratings, uh, to Google Sheets? And I show you not even just how to use them in your sheet, but how to change them into a number. So this three stars can be turned into a number three, and then you can use that to like create averages, uh, find data about what your users are putting in, what information you have. It's really, really cool. And watch that video. Rating system is really cool. And it is literally using, you can use any emoji you want. You can use a star. You can use a shooting star. You can use, let's see, what else? You can use hearts. So instead of one, we can use three hearts. Anything you want, any emoji you want, you can change into, um, you can make it like a rating system. Really cool. Thank you for watching. Um, I really enjoy making videos like this. Uh, if you are not yet a member of bettersheets.co, go ahead and go check it out. Uh, we have, uh, it's $19 a month, or you can buy lifetime access anytime, either on the page bettersheets.co or over at AppSumo if the deal is still running. Thank you for watching. Bye.